Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Wadash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world eagerly calls God. Yahweh Shai being the true name of our Lord and our Savior, who this world eagerly calls Jesus. And the Rechak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh by Shemuel Shai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another Lord's willing, edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai unto the best of my ability. And this lesson is going to be something, it's going to be entitled something along the lines of spiritual death leads unto literal death. I'm going to say that again. Spiritual death leads unto literal death. And this is just, you know, something I was meditating on as I was reading the, the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter. And um, this is the state of majority of our people. When I say our people, I'm speaking about you so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. And that's really who I'm speaking out because the other nations don't matter. The Lord says he equates the other nations as the spittle, as less than nothing. So we're not concerned about the other nations. And really through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, on this side, we're not concerned about the two thirds because they are spiritually dead. And that's going to lead them to literal death. So I just want to get a few scriptures. And um, again, I pray that this lesson is edifying unto the hopeful elect. And, um, let's open up here with the book of Revelation. Because we speak about spiritual death, spiritually dead, which most which that's most of our people. They're spiritually dead. All right. They're not. They don't know. They don't see the times that we're living in. That's why Yahweh Shai says in the book of Matthew the 13, uh, Matthew 13, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. Because the, the elect, their eyes, their spiritual eyes are awoke. We're not in that state of darkness like the rest of our people. All right, this is Rev, uh, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So that dead bodies, that's in that, that shall lie in that, in the street of the great city is speaking about here in America. All right, and that's not literal, that's spiritual. All right, they're, they're, these people are spiritually dead out here. All right, now, uh, here it is, you know, we in the, we in the midst of um, inflation. We are at the brink of World War Three. We at the brink of the MOTB coming to pass. But our people, they only worried about the things of this world. They worried about partying. They worried about drinking. They worried about getting married planning honeymoons, planning out what they're going to do for spring break. 
But you got all these things going on in the world. We're seeing all the 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 uh, the chariot sightings with the world equally called UFOs. You're seeing all this war and rumors of wars taking place. You're seeing uh, internet outages. Just today, you had uh, Facebook, Instagram uh, shut down. And eventually, it's not going to be temporary. Eventually, it's going to shut down for good. You know? And that's when these people is going to continue. That's, that, that's when these people that are spiritually dead are going to bug out. But here we are. You got the men of the Lord beginning with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the elders and the bishops and brothers on down. We've been warning you of these things. Cyber attacks, EMPs. This is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, right? The Holy Spirit, the Rechakwadash. That what makes you alive. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's get a quick scripture on the on the Holy Spirit. All right, the Rechakwadash. Um, let's go here. Bear with me. Uh, let me search it up really quick. All right. So I knew I knew it was in the book of John. I was looking here at John. The 10th chapter, but it's here in John, the 14th chapter. So let's jump over there. And this is John 14 and starting at verse 25. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things right and that's how you know that these pastors that these popes and even these other israelite camps they don't have the holy spirit they don't have the comforter because they claiming that that no man knows the name of the heavenly father and his son they can't give you a, cl a clear answer on the motb which is the RFID CHIP. And that's letting you know that the Lord is not dealing with these men. The Lord's not dealing with these pastors. They can't break down the dark parables of the scriptures. They can't tell you what Babylon is. They can't tell you, um, they can't tell you uh that the that the that the arrows are the missiles. Because these things has been revealed unto his servants, the prophets. All right. It says he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. All right. The Lord said he's going to stir up our pure minds by way of remembrance. All right. So now the, the, the true men of the Lord are waking up in these last days. They're remembering themselves. They're coming back. Unto the ways of their of our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So let's go back to John six and sixty-three. It is the Spirit that quickeneth, right? So the Holy Spirit is what makes us alive, all right. And it says the flesh profit is nothing, right? Which that's what two thirds of our people. That's what they uh, follow after the flesh, all right. And we know that the flesh is contrary to the Holy Spirit. The flesh profit is nothing. All right, that's why you got a soul unto the unto the spirit. But these people they don't have the spirit. They don't have the Holy Spirit. They don't have the Rakhakwadash. They have the spirit of Satan. All right, that's why the book of John uh, eight and forty four says, "Ye are of your father the devil." 
and the lust of your father you will do. Right? So they're doing the bidding of this of uh Esau Edom. It says that the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right. And so that spirit and that, that, that life is found here in the scriptures. But our people, they don't they don't read the scriptures. Right? If, if they read the scriptures, they don't apply the scriptures. And that's the most important thing. The scripture says you can't be a hearer of the word. All right. But you got to be a doer also. So let's go to the book of Proverbs 4. We're going to start at the top at verse 1. Hear, ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Right? Because when you forsake the law of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, what follows after that? What follows? When you forsake the law of the heavenly father. Let's get it. Romans 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Right? Because this is the way that we're supposed to walk. All right. Jeremiah 6 and 16. So this is. This is righteous. And when you go outside. Of Yahweh Ba'ashim Al-Shai law. Sin comes. And when you when you sin, when you continue to sin and sin, what follows after sin is death. And that's why you're seeing all this death here in America. Okay, you're seeing um, homosexuality ramping up. You're seeing pedophilia. You're seeing bestiality. And eventually you're about to see a mass amount of people receive the seal. Just like how mass amount of people uh, took that took that jab, and now you're seeing people fall out. You're seeing people uh, getting blood clots. You're seeing the aftermath of not listening to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, it says, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Amashiach, our Lord. All right, and that's the only way. But our people, they're trying to climb up some other way. No, nah, you got to follow Yahweh Shai with us wherever you're going. You got you to enter in at the straight gate. Because that wide gate, which is this world, leads unto destruction. All right. Now let me get a quick scripture. This is Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way... Which seemeth right unto a man. Right. So following after the, the things of this world. That seems right unto a man. Christianity seems right unto a man. Taking the job because you got to continue to work. That seems right unto the average man. All right. It says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. All right. Because. You're not following after Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, with all your mind, and lean not unto thy own understanding. You know why you're not supposed to lean unto your own understanding? Because the Lord, He showed us the He showed us the right way. That's how we that's how we receive salvation. It's through the Lord. Lord already uh, told us what to do to receive salvation. But, hey, Jake want to do their own thing. Jake really saying, you know, I'm smarter than the Most High. My way is better than Yahweh Bashem Al Shai way. Well, we just, we going to see at the end of the day which way was better. And it's not going to end good. For you wicked and rebellious Israelites. All right. So let's go back to Proverbs 4. In verse 3, it says, For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words. Right. So that heart 
in the Hebrew is speaking about your mind, love. Speaking about your mind. Let your mind retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. And that's just, that's, it's that simple. You keep your Hawabashim Alshai commandments. Okay, and we can't be perfect. But we strive to be. All right, scripture says, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. The Lord's not even asking us to be perfect. Because yes, we're gonna we're gonna come, we're gonna fall short. There's some laws you just can't keep. Okay? You don't know if these clothes are a hundred percent uh uh are a hundred percent uh cotton or or hundred percent silk or polyester. Some laws you just can't keep. Okay? Can't put a, a, a sodomite to death. All right. On, on, on the Sabbath day, we, we, we not supposed to work. But we in captivity. So we got to work on the Sabbath days. But that's when uh, mercy and grace comes from the Lord. All right. So it says, keep my commandments and live. And that's, and that's simple. The laws that we can't keep, we keep those. We ain't out here smoking weed. We ain't out here selling drugs. We ain't out here eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. We ain't committing adultery. We ain't worshiping these idols. We're not celebrating these pagan holidays. Hey, that's why the Lord says my laws are not grievous. See, you trying to make it in this world? Now that's, now that's grievous. Okay? Especially look at these celebrities, man. All this... It's coming out about these celebrities, how they getting bent over by by men, how they gotta worship the spiritual demons, saying they gotta do these blood sacrifices, they gotta drink blood, all type of things, all type of vile and wicked things that they gotta do to make it. For but to make it to the kingdom, yeah, we gonna we gonna go through many trials and tribulations. The Lord not asking us to run. 15 miles he ain't asking us we got he ain't, ain't no certain requirements saying you got a bench uh 300 pounds you know nothing like that serving the lord is easier than serving this world and the spiritual demon satan all right and it says verse verse five get wisdom get understanding right so when you get the wisdom knowledge understanding of the bible you get understanding Right, you get an understanding of the um, how to keep the Sabbath day, how to tell times. All right, you look up at the at the sky, you see the full moon. I let you know that we got two months. I mean, two weeks until the next Sabbath. All right, when you seeing um, turn on the news, you seeing all this death on the news. A man got hit by a train. All right, uh, a, 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 a man or a woman died in a car accident. All right, you seeing this 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 so-called innocent child got hit with a straight bullet. All these things are not by coincidence. These things are ordained by the heavenly Father. Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-nine says, "I kill and I make alive; I wound and I heal." All right, you seeing you seeing our our family members getting plagued with different diseases. Whether it's cancer or diabetes or high blood pressure, all right, inflammation in the legs, we know that this is due to uh, not keeping Yahweh Bashim out shy ways. All right, it says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of thy mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. All right, just like when you go up into your uh, cabinet. Some of that, most of that food, that's cabinet food, that's Jacob Trouble food, has preservatives. All right, it keeps it lasting a long time. All right, and, and, and that's what it does when you keep the law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord preserves you. All right, you look at however age you are. You look at um, 
you look at, for instance, our apostles and those a great millstone. They're getting up there in age. They're they're older men. But you look at the apostle and the great millstone. You take another man that's in the world, the same age as him. You look at the apostles and the elders. They in great shape. They look young. They look lively. But you look at a man in the world that's not serving the Lord, and you look at you put somebody there the same age. They're looking tore down. They 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 they. They look busted up, all right? But the Lord preserves you when you serving him, when you keeping his His ways, all right? And the Lord is going to preserve us all the way up into the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? Hey, the Lord says, my servants, they're going to eat. My servants are going to rejoice, all right? The Lord's servants are going to be um, protected from the plagues, protected from the pestilence. Okay, but this only happens when you serve Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right, he preserves you. All right, it says, Love her and she shall keep thee. Right, and what's love? Love is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. That's love. All right, and when you don't love the Lord, you, 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 you be rebellious. Okay, and rebellion, rebelliousness is as the sin of witchcraft. And according to the law, you're supposed to put a witch to death. The scripture says, suffer not a witch to live. And, I, and, I, and, and that's why a lot of death is going to come unto, unto our people, man. Hey, Zechariah 13 and 9 says, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And, and, and why is that? It's not because the Lord is just full of hate. No, the Lord is tired of wicked and rebellious Israelites, man. And that's going to stop. Okay. Finishing off of verse 7, uh, Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. All right? And this is how you get the true understanding. Okay? This is how you get the understanding of life. It's how you get understanding of the scriptures. All right? By being obedient. And the scripture says it's better to obey than it is to sacrifice. All right, just like them wicked Israelites going back um, during the time of the first covenant. All right, they'll premeditate, you know, uh, th th their sins. You know, they make them acts. They'll make them uh, sacrifices. You know, but it's better to obey than it is to sacrifice. You know, and this is the life of sacrifice. All right, Romans twelve and one says. We got to make our bodies a living sacrifice, you know, and that's the time that we in, man. We got to sacrifice in order to gain, in order to gain sacrifices required. I'm going to close out with this, backing up that point. This Proverbs, I mean, not Proverbs, James 4 and verse 8, draw nigh to the Most High and he will draw nigh to you, All right? In order to draw nigh to the Most High, you got to keep his ways all right scripture says wisdom dwell not in a malicious soul so hey in order for the lord spirit to, to deal with you okay you got to clean your, your, your temple you got to clean your house you got to get rid of uh the weed smoke and the, and the smoke the drugs all right you got to stop committing adultery you got to stop eating these defiled foods and that's that sacrifice Okay, you can't be double minded. You gotta have your you gotta have ten toes down in this truth. You gotta be all about your how about Shmuel Shire. You gotta be against wickedness. It says, uh, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. So we gotta cleanse our hands from these sins. Okay? That old creature, that old man that you was in the world, that that old man has to you gotta kill that old man. And that's daily. It's daily that old man is trying to creep up. Okay? What you was doing in the world. Hey, that 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 demon is gonna try to uh attack you. Hey, but that's when you rebuke that that demon in the name of your how about Shemel Shah, man. All right, and ain't no time to be double-minded. Cause we're coming at the time of Jacob Trouble. All right? All these men who are out here faking the funk. Hey, you're going to be exposed, whether it's now or whether it's the time of Jacob's trouble, man. 
all right? Because that temptation is going to come upon all men, all right? So I just wanted to bring that out through the Spirit. Again, I pray that this lesson was edifying unto the hopeful elect. And with that, I'm going to close out by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Akhach, I want to give double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashan al I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashan al will show mercy upon in these last days. And Thawadi Bashan al for giving me the spirit of truth. Thawadi Bashan al for giving me the Holy Spirit. They were Chakwadash to make this lesson. Lord's willing, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and the ball, the ball. DTA, Kwame Asha'Allah, Shalom.